Praise the Lord, everyone, and uh, welcome to Life Group. I'm hoping that you're enjoying our new series called Our Mission. This has been a burden and a passion that God has stirred on the inside of me the last number of years, and now we're, we're introducing it into our life groups. And uh, it's, it's to live on purpose, to be intentional, and to know who we are and what it is that we are to be doing for the kingdom of God. Um, we have a mission. We have a mandate. And we've been reading that in Matthew 28, and uh, we've been going over that, and we will continue to do so. Today, we're going to be talking about discipleship, and for a couple more times, we will be as well, because I think it's important that we understand what discipleship is and what it isn't. Um, and so the first thing is, is that we need to be a disciple before we can make disciples. And I pray that when you read these verses today, they challenge you, that they make you really question, um, am I a disciple or just a believer. See, in our Christianity today, we have terms that we use, and they may not necessarily be bad, but I don't think they're as accurate as what the Bible wants us to be. Jesus didn't just call people to believe in him. He called people to follow him, and there is a difference. You, you can believe what Jesus says, but it, there's going to come a point when your faith has to take action. And that action is what defines you. See, faith is really simple obedience. When Jesus met people, he encountered them, he called them, he invited them, they had to do something with that invitation. Sure, they could believe he was the Messiah. They could believe that he could do miracles. They could watch him feed thousands and, and raise the dead. But those who decided to get closer to him were called disciples. And that's what we want to be. We want to be known as disciples. As a matter of fact, Jesus said it this way, By this people will know that you are my disciples, that you have love one for another. Jesus wants us to be known as disciples. So I'm going to read something to you out of the book of Matthew. It's Matthew chapter 9, reading out of New Living Translation. And the Bible says this, Jesus is even in his hometown, if I understand this correctly. And in Matthew chapter 9, it says, Jesus was walking along. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Matthew got up and followed him. Later, Matthew invited Jesus and his disciples to his home as dinner guests, along with many tax collectors and other disreputable sinners. It's amazing to me. Matthew writes this gospel, and he gets almost one-third of the way through his gospel before he introduces himself. But when he does, he says, Jesus invited me to be his disciple. Matthew left everything to follow him that day. It was so important that nothing would keep him back. He took him home. Discipleship is something that needs to go home with us. It doesn't just need to be something we do at church. You see, somewhere along the way, like I said, we have used words that maybe aren't bad, but they really aren't as biblically accurate as I think the Lord wants us to be. We've called ourselves believers or Christians, and those are good things to say. But discipleship is much more than that. Discipleship is even more than just a teacher-student relationship. It is an intentional process of getting to know someone, to develop their habits, their culture, their custom, their lifestyle, to learn from them in such a way that it impacts every avenue, every aspect of your life. That's what true discipleship is. And we are called to be disciples and to make disciples. I want to encourage you today. Are you allowing everything about Jesus to impact all of your life? Or do you just have a box that it fits into? Well, I believe in Jesus. I trust Jesus. 
I encourage you today as we read over these passages and you go through the discussions, examine yourself, examine your heart, ask yourself those hard questions that we don't like asking. Am I a disciple of Jesus Christ?